Welcome to my Grey Hack Guide. In this video, we're going to do another mission uh, from the hack shop. So we're going to open the browser, go to the hack shop, and I think we're going to do a credentials needed this time. So just accept one of those. Uh, just like the previous episode, we're going to use um, the scripts that we made in episode 15 and 16 uh, to uh, uh, get some more effective hacking done. It's much faster, so I can show off uh, missions uh, faster in these videos. We'll open the mail and take a look at what the mission needs. So this is the IP, the LAN IP. That might be a bit more tricky because this is the fourth computer on the network. Uh, well, no, it's the third computer on the network. So uh, the first uh, object uh, with uh, 0.1 is the router. So there are actually three computers, at least, maybe more. This is interesting. Maximum discretion is required. Uh, so we cannot be, we cannot leave any logs when we are. Um, uh, sending the credentials. Okay. And this is of course the user that they want the password for. First off, we're we'll going to start the admin monitor to be safe when we are doing the hacking. Then we're going to grab the IP and use nmap. And they're actually four computers, so there is a 0 0.5 on here as well. Wow, this, this is a good one. So this is a FTP server, which means that we will... Um, well, it's going to be harder to uh, complete this mission. Um, the good thing is that the 0 0.4 is port forwarded, so we don't need to hack onto another computer on here. Well, probably. Um, also, it depends on if we can get shell on here or not. There are a few question marks regarding this, it's going to be interesting. We will use the tool that we made in episode, uh, I think it was 16, shell web, on the IP, and the port that we need to um, uh, attack is this port right here. So, since the uh, FTP uh, normal usual FTP port is 21 and that is already used on the 0 0.2 computer uh, and it also assigned a different FTP port for the 0 0.3 computer since uh, 20, port 21 is already taken and then as a third one it uh, gave this computer this uh, IP, uh, port number right here so that's the port number that we need to uh, target and we're running the... Okay, so that's good. We got a uh, guest shell and we got the root password. So I guess it's not that hard after all. We just do sudo s. Oh yeah, like that. And now we have root access on this computer. First off, we'll go into the uh, logs and clear out the shell obtain, like so. Like I said, this uh, script, shell web script, um, there's a video in episode 16 on how to make that. Um, since we were able to hack onto this um, FTP server with exploits, and we do not have sh um, the FTP shell access, that is usually uh, what you get when you hack FTP servers, uh, that is very limited. So if you type help, uh, you will see all the commands in um, the FTP shell, but since we gained normal shell, we have full access to the computer and uh, no issues whatsoever. Okay, what we will do now is we'll do cat etc-password, and uh, this is the user they wanted the password for, so we will just uh, copy that password. Then I think we're going to open another terminal and we're going to do decipher. And this is the decipher tool that we made in episode 15. And this is the password. And 
since I already cleaned my logs, we are done on this system and we can exit like so. And what we can do now is just reply. Since we cleaned the logs, we are um, fulfilling the requirements of the maximum discretion. And we can just reply with the password. Maybe I already copied it, I don't remember. And send. And the customer is satisfied with the job. And we got paid. So that's how you complete a credentials needed mission with the custom script that we made. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.